today we are tying the uh, cicada. So this should be a fun one for the intermediate fly tying box for July 2019. So we're going to start off here. We just have a Daiichi dry fly hook with 6 aught thread. It's a size 10. And we'll just attach our thread. We'll go back to our tie-in point. And that's where we'll begin to dub. Actually, before we do that, let's let's tie in some ribs. So I have just some orange floss, and we'll just tie in a strand so it's hanging out the back. Just to, at our tie-in point, and then I can dub the body going forward. So we're just using black, super fine dubbing, and I'm just going to try to build a nice tapered body under there. We'll get a little thicker as we go. And I'm going to dub about just past halfway, about two thirds of the hook shank. Let's add a little more here. So we'll just, again, middle finger and her thumb, and we'll just dub that on to create a nice little section. So once we're just past halfway, it uh, looks like we're going to need just a little more. Then we'll rib that uh, floss over. All right, so about like that, that's what we want. Kind of a thick belly right there, and we've got about two thirds of the hook shank. Now we'll take this rib and just spiral wrap that through just to get a little bit of segmentation, a little coloration on the underbody of this cicada. We'll capture that, hold that up with my right hand and drop our thread over with our left hand and now we can snip off the excess. Okay, let's just make a little thread base there now. Now what we're going to do is uh, create the body of the fly. So what I have is a pre-cut cicada body and we're going to tie that down so it extends just like that. But before I do that, let's just put a small little drop of glue on our thread base. Try to be clean. Like that. And now we'll just lay that foam. And there's a little, little groove right there. We're going to lay that right where our thread is. Press down on it. And then let's come around and tie that foam right on top. Now I'm going to try to connect, a make a little section there. So there's the eye of the hook. So let's just carefully bring the thread over like that, just to the eye, and tie it down again. So you're going to have a little midsection there where all that glue is. Let's just tie all that down now with some good tight wraps and lay down a little thread base. So hopefully what we've done is attach this cicada body with glue to our hook and it won't slip around. Now do not clip this front part off. Now we're ready for the wings and the uh, legs. So for the wing, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a crystal flash, kind of a, a black crystal flash. And I've got four or five strands and we'll just secure that in and double it back over. And then we can we want those to extend just past the uh, body, about right there. They're going to stick up a little bit. Now for the wing we can use, uh, I have some gray or white poly yarn. And what I've done, you can just get this on the rope is what I'm sending you there. So you, you can uh, just slide out a clump and then I just stretch it and kind of comb it out so it's a little easier to work with. And we'll do the uh, same thing. We'll just tie that in and double that over. And so it kind of blends in with our, our crystal flash right there. And we can uh, snip that up so it evens up with our crystal flash. And we've got a nice little wing that's that'll be nice and visible. 
for us. All right, now let's, uh, this little dead space right here, we're gonna dub that and just fill that in. So let's add a little dubbing. And just kind of bulk up that head just a little bit and fill in that, that space. So let's just come in there with a couple little sections of dubbing. All right, now our thread should end up at this part of the uh, the back end of the dub. Now let's fold over the top like that. And this is going to form kind of that bigger head of the cicada. So once we're going to pull that back, let's come around loosely and gather all those. And now we can cinch down on it with three or four good wraps right there. Okay, now we're ready to uh, snip off this excess right there. And we'll just leave that like that. Now we need some legs, so we're going to uh, tie on some of these variegated orange legs. So let's tie one on each side. And you know I like a lot of movement. I have another section of, uh, or another set of smaller just black rubber legs. Let's throw those in there with that. So as we fish this fly and twitch it around, it creates a lot of movement on the water. And I think that's important because when they hit the water they they uh, definitely skitter and create a lot of uh, movement. So let's do the same thing on both sides. And then we'll trim these legs down how we want them. All right, so let's just hold these out like this. And on the opposite side. And now we'll do our whip finish in that same grooved area. So we'll just have to work our way around these legs and make sure we uh, put that triangle right through the, the legs, right through the triangle right there. And really tighten that down. And now we can trim it off. 